Lesson 31. I first import tkinter, then from tkinter import star. Here's my widget that I'm going to create over here. Window gadget. There's going to be a label. Parent window, none. Height, 10. Width, 20. The font I'm going to use is Helvetica. It's going to be 20 point high. And the text on the box, on the label, is going to say, a simple GUI, Louie. Okay, Mr. Widget, would you please pack yourself all up together? And then, Mr. Widget, once you've done that, execute the main loop. And that's what appears on my screen until I hit the X. Hmm. It's a good application for a message box, something like a message box. That's the end of lesson 31. Lesson 32. I import tkinter from tkinter. I import star. Widget? Yes. I want to make a I want to make a widget with a label on it. Parent is none. Height is 10. Width is 20. Font is Helvetica. It's going to be 20 points. Text will say a simple gooey looey, just like before. However, now I'm going to define a function called callback. Call in. All it's going to do is print click. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a button. Parent window, none. Text on the button will say OK. And when you click on this button, it will execute callback, which is going to print the word click onto the screen. And Mr. Button, with your commands to execute that uh, function, yeah, I assign you to B. B, pack your silly self all up together and get ready for action. Okay. Widget? Yes. Pack your silly self all up together and get ready for action. So I got the button and the label. Remember, the widget is the label. And B is the button. So the button and the widget pack themselves up together, and then they, the widget executes the main loop. Huh. All right. Remember, widget is this guy, the label. And so we get this. There's OK. That's the button, and here's your label. If you every time you click on the button, you get click, click, printed out. That's the end of 32, beginning of 33. Import tkinter from tkinter import star. Dad equals tk. Ah, okay. Now I have a parent a parent window called dad. X equals string var. Okay, it's a string var type. Y equals oh, a message. Who's the parent window? Dad. This dad thing here. And I'm going to have a... This X is going to be my text variable. Okay. And it's going to... This message is going to stand up. It's going to be raised on the parent window. Okay. See? You can see it's already standing up. All right, x, which is the string variable, and it's going to go on the text variable of the message, which will be on the dad, which is the parent form. And there it is on the message, which is on, it's raised, and it's on the parent form, dad. Now it's raised up. Now, x, I want you to set x, yeah, I want you to set the following characters onto yourself. Into yourself. Okay, what are those characters? Minimum character, 6. So it writes those, those words onto the 
into the x variable, which is located where? Which is set into the text variable, which is on the message, which is placed onto the dad form, the parent form. Okay, very good. Why? Yes, pack yourself together. Because all of this is brought together and assigned to Y. Y, pack yourself together and then dad, parent, parent form, yes, execute the main loop. And he does, and this is what we get. Finally, you click on X and it's gone. Lesson number 35. Import the OS. Okay. Then for AB in the OS environment items. Oh, okay. Let's say it a different way. Mr. OS, yes. Now you've got a lot of in items, yes, variables in your environment, don't you? Yes, I do. I said items because they're, you know, they're paired with each other. A equals B, that sort of thing. Okay, yeah, I got those. Uh, for each one of those A B combinations that you have in your in your environment, I would like you to do the following. Okay, what would you like me to do? I would like you to print them out. I would like you to print out the A and put that there. All right. And I'd like you to print out the B and put that here. Okay. And an equal sign between them. All right. So this guy that I want you to print out will get its data from or substituted into from these two guys, which are in the tuples, which are in the tuple. Okay, that's good. Now we run the program and we get this. Wow. Here are all the environmental variables. Session name equals console. C column windows is the system root. Wow. And it prints them all out. For AB in the OS dot environment dot items. Print percent s equals percent s in quotes. Percent AB. So substitute this into here and this into here. That's what that means. That brings us to the end of lessons 31 to 35, summation. This is George Bull, the end. Bye-bye.